these orange rolls are super soft light and airy infused with bright candied orange flavor and slathered on top with that orange cream cheese frosting the recipe is so simple and easy it doesn't require any hard to find ingredients or a long kneading time and another good thing about this recipe is that we don't need to wait for that double proofing and so we can save a lot of our time and this quick orange rolls recipe will help you make squishy soft orange rolls in less than two hours and in this video we'll see how easy it is to make them in four simple steps so let's see what are the ingredients that we need to make the bread dough we'll need some flour milk egg and butter to enrich the dough some salt and sugar to enhance the flavor and some yeast as a leavening agent and for the filling we'll need some sugar softened butter and to add orange flavor some orange zest so as the first step let's prepare the bread dough into this bowl I'm adding some milk which is not cold nor hot but just slightly warm then add in the sugar, salt, yeast and an egg at room temperature and give it a good stir and mix them all together adding some butter here I'm using very soft butter so that it will be easy for us to blend everything together and then add in the flour just mix and combine everything together to form a shaggy mass of dough and now let's transfer this dough onto a clean work surface our dough is an easy to knead dough it's not a very sticky dough and we don't need to knead it for a very long time just knead the dough until everything is well combined and we get a soft and smooth dough it may take around four to five minutes of kneading So our dough is now ready, it's soft and smooth and not sticky but still tacky to the touch. Lightly dust the wok surface with some flour. I'm flattening the top of our dough so that it forms a disc shape and let that dough sit and rest for 5 minutes. This is not for proofing the dough but this will give some time for the tensive dough to relax a bit and this will reduce the tendency of our dough to rebound back while we roll the dough so it's been five minutes and our dough is now ready for the second step that is to divide and shape the dough so dust the work surface generously with some flour I'm sprinkling some more on the top of the dough to prevent any chance of dough sticking to the rolling pin. Here I'm rolling the dough into a rectangle of approximately 17 to 18 inches in length and 14 to 15 inches in breadth and one fourth of an inch thickness. And then apply the softened butter on top of the sheet. I'm mixing the orange zest and sugar together now spread it all over the rectangular sheet make sure the orange sugar mix is evenly distributed And now roll the dough into the shape of a cylinder
as my baking dish is not non-sticky i'm greasing it with some butter and now it's time to divide our dough into equal pieces here i've divided it into 12 equal pieces to divide them equally just make a marking in the middle of the log and then again make a marking in the middle of one portion and then divide each portion into three equal parts we don't need to stress over this step to divide them exactly the same but closer they are in similar size more even they will rise and bake we can use a sharp serrated knife to cut them into pieces or we can also cut them smoothly without any smudging using a string. Now our rolls are all ready for the next step that is to proof the rolls. So cover the pan with a plastic film and let them sit and rise in a warm environment for 60 minutes. And now after one hour our rolls have risen well and they are all ready to go into the oven. So bake it at 350 Fahrenheit preheated oven for 22 to 25 minutes. And orange rolls are not complete without the cream cheese frosting. So while it's getting baked let's prepare the orange cream cheese frosting. It's so easy to make this frosting. Into this bowl I'm adding some butter and cream cheese which is kept at room temperature and a teaspoon of orange zest to add some orange flavor. If you like a mild orange flavor you can skip adding orange zest and add a teaspoon of vanilla extract instead. Cream it until it is light and pale and then add the powdered sugar. If you want a thinner frosting, you can add one or two tablespoons of orange juice into this. So our cream cheese frosting is now ready. And after baking, you will get those beautiful orange rolls that smells amazing. And let them sit for 5 minutes and then slather the top with some cream cheese frosting while they are still warm. It will melt in and infuse into those rolls through those beautiful swirls. These orange rolls are super soft, they taste absolutely delicious and full of orange flavor. I hope you like this recipe, hope you found it simple and easy to make and I hope you will make this at home and please let me know how it turned out for you and thank you so much for your love and support and thanks for watching this video. See you next time.